There is a disaster happening near Bastrop on Camp Swift. Only this one is a stage one. Members of the Texas National Guard are taking part in a full-scale disaster training exercise involving more than 500 soldiers and airmen. Our Chris Sadegi has been out there since it all started this morning when we saw him at 6 a.m. live with us. Give us more on how this operation is going. Hi, Chris. Hello, Kate. Over here to my right, you'll see just an old abandoned building. But for today, this is a school filled with children that was hit by a tanker truck. And if you look back over this way, you will see the appropriate response from the National Guard. Now, this is an awful scenario to envision, but this unit is trying to become certified at being prepared to handle the worst. And we have video from earlier that shows when they first arrived on this stage scene, you will see the hazmat gear out as they try to carefully inspect what kind of chemical had been spilt, how toxic it may have been, everything they would do if this were a real life situation. Now they are coming out back now, taking themselves through the decontamination station and then taking the chemicals back to the mobile lab to test them. So you can see very true to life right now, the search and rescue teams are just arriving and are about to start pulling victims out of the building. All of this very lifelike and they'll do it again in October before the Department of Defense to become one of 10 certified Homeland Response Forces in the country, one in each FEMA region. So they aren't looking at it as something staged from beginning to end. It is real life. They're on call 360 days a year every day. And we're ready to move. All these vehicles are packed all the time, ready to roll anywhere throughout the United States or other states if necessary. And you can see just how many people are taking part in this practice exercise. More than 500 soldiers and airmen getting together now, starting to begin the next stage of this practice. Now, they set a very high bar for this type of unit. If any disaster happens anywhere in their region, no matter where they may be, they have six to 12 hours to respond. That's a high bar set, but that's the bar that will save lives and what they're practicing here today. We're live at Camp Swift. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.